today's furniture flip is wow and it was totally free you will not believe what this can turn into stay tuned We found this dresser on Facebook Marketplace for free. The lady was moving and couldn't sell it in time, so she was just giving it away. Luckily, we caught it in time before somebody else grabbed it, so we ran over there quickly to pick it up. It's got good bones, good structure to it. Nothing is broken, but definitely has a failing finish on the top. This is going to be a really quick and fun flip and for a lot of profit. I have an extremely busy homeschool week this week and a dog that needs to get to the vet. Oh, these dogs, what we don't do for our dogs around here. So Chris is gonna do the majority of this furniture flip for me today. I am in desperate need to get some pieces out of my garage because it is jam packed with furniture and we gotta get some sales going. So I'm so glad he's out there helping me today. He's gonna get this started. If you're new to my channel, you may not know that Lemons to Lemonade started with the two of us working in our garage and we used to flip furniture pieces together all of the time. And now his job keeps him very busy so I rarely get him out here with me, but I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I think he's a better furniture flipper than I am. So you're in for a treat today. You're gonna have to let me know at the end if you think he did an awesome job. To start off, everything always gets a really good scrub with some simple green degreaser to get off any old dirt and grime. This is a pretty old dresser and it's been, I don't know, sitting in a garage, sitting somewhere collecting some dust. So it's pretty dirty. Luckily for us, these handles are all intact and they are in really great shape. They are perfect for this piece, so there's no way that we're replacing those. I am so fortunate that all of those can be saved and we are definitely gonna reuse those on this piece. Now it's time to take this piece apart and make sure all the cobwebs, dirt, and dust has been vacuumed out of the inside. You know I love adding a different base on all my furniture pieces and this one was no exception. This one was so quick and easy. Just a few screws were holding this whole bottom part in place. This was very easily removed and something new and fun can be added to the bottom. Now that the base has been removed, we're gonna get rid of this failing finish on the top. We'll start with a 120 grit sanding pad and go over the entire surface. A common question I get asked on this channel is how do you know when to use a chemical stripper versus a sander? And when you have a failing finish like this one, you really just need an 80 grit or a 120 grit sanding disc and a little bit of patience and you'll get right through it. There's no need to put a chemical stripper on this unless you've got a really thick, tough layer of finish to get through on the top. Now that the failing finish has been taken off the top, we'll do a light scuff sand all over the body of the dresser just to ensure that our paint will adhere. Now that the sanding is done, we'll clean off all of the dust. We use our air hose and also a wet cloth just to wipe it all back. You want to ensure that none of that sanding dust gets into your painted finish. We're using a paint that's newer to us and I'm not sure if we're gonna have bleed through issues with this dresser. It has so many different surfaces on it now that we've had to sand back some of the failing finish parts. So we're gonna play it safe versus sorry and Chris is going to prime this entire dresser with some Rust-Oleum two-time bonding primer. We'll give everything two good coats of this before we start to paint. Thank you. 
We like to use two and a half inch tape on our drawers just to ensure that we don't have any overspray on them. So he'll get those taped up before we start. We chose the color Aloe Green by Melange Paints. He loaded this into our gravity fed HBLP spray gun, added a little bit of water on the top as it was pretty thick and then he's ready to go. These trendy sagey greeny light colors are a total hit right now in the Texas market. Wait till you see the new base that gets added. It just pulls all of this together. It's super cool. Once the body of the dresser was painted and left to dry for about two hours, then Chris went back and added in the drawers. This is just a really quick hack to make sure that there's no overspray that gets on the inside of your drawers or on the sides. This is a super simple way to paint your drawers, but you've got to make sure that the body of your dresser is completely dry first. I myself am a little guilty at putting those drawers in a little too soon and scraping my paint. This project is so easy today, you guys. I hope that this really inspires you to see that you can do a lot with the furniture pieces that you have, or maybe even something you see on Marketplace that you're interested in flipping. I mean, I think the hardest thing that we're gonna do today was when you saw us remove the base. Other than that, all of this is pretty simple. For the top coat, we used Minwax Polycrylic in the satin finish. My honeydew list is done for the day and I am back in the garage where I love to be. The handles are ready to be updated and need a fresh coat of spray paint. I've got four different shades of gold and I am trying to decide which one would be best. So I'm using an extra box to test them out on. should have known by now that middle one is called gold leaf by Krylon. It is the one I use the most. I, I just need to go buy like two or three of these bottles because this one is the one that always ends up looking the best on the designs. Now that I've picked out my favorite color, once again, I will give the hardware two good coats of spray paint. Brief intermission while I tell you about my new Patreon page. As a debt-free furniture flip and influencer, I've been working hard to bring you all relevant content that interests you. And with the help of Patreon, I can continue to do that on a more in-depth, personal level. For those who may not know, Patreon is a platform that allows fans to support creators directly. By becoming a subscriber, you'll get exclusive access to more in-depth content, a weekly update on what's in my garage and what I'm currently working on. We go over in-depth debt reduction and budget strategies and so much more. And you'll be directly supporting my work, which means the world to me. I want to take a moment to thank my current subscribers. Your support means so much, and I'm so grateful for your belief in my work. If you're interested in learning more, you can check out my Patreon page with the link below. I've created a few different tiers for each interest level, and I hope you'll come check it out and join me over there. Now that the hardware is dry, I'll attach it back onto the dresser, 
And no, we haven't forgotten about the base. Right around this time, we had a really bad snowstorm. Yep, I know, I'm in short sleeves again. It's because our weather here is crazy this time of year. So anyways, the snowstorm delayed the base parts that we needed. So while we're waiting on that, we're gonna finish up with the handles. The legs finally arrived. Thank you so much, Amazon. We're just getting these ready before we can attach them to the bottom. Luckily on this one, all we had to do previously was just remove that little skirt that was there before. And all of this wood underneath was already there in place. We didn't have to build any extra support. All we have to do is take these legs and screw them in securely. One last look at our freebie dresser from Facebook Marketplace before I show you what this one turns into. Look at this fancy thing after. The color and the MCM style legs on the bottom just elevate this thing to a whole new level. This dresser would have been a quick two day flip if the legs hadn't been delayed. So super simple. I listed this in my Dallas market for $700. I know, I know, sometimes my sale prices sound crazy to some of you, but that is indeed the going rate around here. Thank you so much for tuning in. I always look forward to sharing our journey with you. This is indeed the way we paid off over $50,000 in debt and we just keep on hustling. Join me next week and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a flip here at Lemons to Lemonade Furniture.